in the headlines. The festival of children joining hands to protect the environment was held for the second time. Many embankment projects are implemented in Gunther City before the rainy season this year. The Blood Donation Festival, called the Red Color of Daido, is held with the hope of receiving 500 blood units. Hello and welcome to Gunther News, the English news program of Gunther Radio and Television Station and Top News Today. The program, called the Festival of Children Joining Hands to Protect the Environment, was held on the morning of June 4th by Gunther City Youth Union and Zedan Vietnam, or Vietnamese Family Magazine, attracting the participation of many local children. At the festival, over 2,000 children joined the games like throwing balls across the waste pits, looking for trash, exchanging old toys for new toys, and weight sorting. After each game, children will receive presents from 40 boots. Joining the event, children could also be offered many gifts and scholarships. The total fund for the event is 1.5 billion Vietnam dong, mobilized from the community. The festival contributes to raising the awareness of children in environment protection with many experiencing activities, thereby children will mobilize family members and people around them to take actions to protect the environment. Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Nguyen Phan Hong and competent agencies of Gunther City came to check the basic construction work of Thái Lai District on June 3rd afternoon. In 2022, Gunther City assigned the People's Committee of Thái Lai District with nearly 191 billion Vietnam dong for the implementation of basic construction projects that are started this year and transitional projects from the previous year. As of now, the district has disbursed nearly 58 billion Vietnam dong, accounting for over 30%, lower than that of other districts. The reason for this low disbursement rate is the late initiation of transitional projects, the slow implementation of investment preparation work, and the increase of construction material prices. Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee directed specialized sectors of the district and the city to promote the coordination in project implementation and pay special attention to the work of compensation and ground clearance, as well as supervision work to boost this booming rate. Capital shall be allocated to other projects if implementation is behind schedule. In the past years, severe landslides at the riverbanks in Miko Delta in general and in Gunther City alone are threatening the lives of thousands of households. However, people living in landslide risk areas are extremely happy to see many embankment projects being implemented before the rainy season this year. Omum River is determined by competent sectors of Gunther City to be one of the landslide hotspots. Therefore, competent agencies have consulted leaders of the city to invest resources in building an emergency embankment system on this river section. In addition to the embankment projects on Omum River, the city has also set out nearly 600 billion Vietnam dong to build nearly 5,000 meters of embankment in the three districts of Ninh Kiều, Bình Thuế and Phong Điền. The embankment projects that have been put into use are of great importance in directly protecting the lives and property of thousands of households residing in landslide risk area, helping them to rest assured whenever rainy season comes. In response to the 10th Red Journey event in 2022, the Steering Board for Blood Donation Mobilization of Gunther City will organize the Blood Donation Festival called the Red Color of Daido with the hope of receiving 500 blood units. The blood donation event took place on June 3rd at the Gunther Job Service Center. In addition to the blood accepted at the festival, the steering boards for blood donation mobilization at all levels will organize blood accepting locations at localities and units to contribute to the blood reserves. The Red Journey program this year takes place from June 1st to July 31st in 46 cities and provinces nationwide and expects to mobilize the donation of at least 120,000 blood units. On June 3rd afternoon, Fomding District People's Committee held the closing ceremony for the first Farmers' Food Fair in 2022. In three days that it takes place, the fair has attracted over 10,000 visitors, with a total income from different activities stood at 300 million Vietnam dong. 
At the closing ceremony, the organizing board presented merit certificates to three units that were ranked first, second, and third in the artistic fruit decorating and shaping contest, as well as the prizes for the winners at the Age Dung Gete Do contest of Fongding District in 2022. With their hyperactive and curious nature, but without knowledge and skills to avoid danger, children are susceptible to accidents and injuries, especially during summer vacation. Accidents and injuries are the top cause of death and cause serious complications for children, both physically and mentally. Therefore, to minimize accidents and injuries for children, first of all, we need the attention and care of parents. Nearly a week ago, this nine-year-old girl was transferred to Kentucky Children's Hospital in a state of a fracture of the left elbow and left leg. The left thigh is broken with many pieces. Doctors performed surgery to fix it with methane, so her patient's heart is stable and she can move her limbs slightly. In the afternoon, she went to her aunt. After five minutes, since she left home, I received information that she got into a Honda accident. Her learning in school had to be stopped, despite the last exam of the year going to take place. Also, because of the neglect of the family, this 14-month-old baby was poured over with a glass of boiling water, causing severe pain in the chest and lower body. His uncle poured water and put a glass of hot water on the table. At night, he didn't know how hot water was there, so he took and drank it. Since entering the hospital, he has been given two intravenous bottles. Now he also got better. Recently, the Division of Automatic Traumatology Research and treats children with injuries on average about 30 cases per day, an increase of three times compared to the previous months. Common injuries include burns caused by fire, electricity, boiling water, broken arms and less due to climbing, falls, traffic accidents. Most hospitalized children often have severe mental traumatic injuries that require a long time of treatment. The cause of children's accidents and injuries is still mainly due to the neglect and subjectivity of parents who have not closely supervised the children or lack of caregivers. In the summer, when children don't have to go to school, this risk increases. In terms of society, we need to let children know the basis of traffic law and which place to go to suit its age group. On the contrary, if the children are at home, parents should also pay attention to low power or less. Sharp objects can also cause accidents for children when their parents are not at home. Therefore, parents need to keep clean things to minimize accidents for their children. In addition, families and schools need to have a good coordination to educate children on how to recognize their actions as well as control their behavior to reduce accidents and injuries, at the same time creating a healthy and safe living, learning and playing environment for children. And now let's have a look at the updated weather forecast. And that's it for this edition of Kanthe News. If you want to watch the bulletins one more time, you can log on to our website at kanthe.tv.vn. And now thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye and see you next time.